Greetings, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are in the world. I want to welcome you all to the Herald Report YouTube ministry in a special way today. You may be following us from Asia. You may be following us from uh, South America, North America, Canada, Europe, Africa. Uh, wherever you are, may the Lord truly bless you. It has been a blessing. Some of you, we have been with us for a long time, for over a year now. And uh, this is actually a very interesting uh, time that we are living in at the moment. As a ministry, we are progressing. And uh, since uh, now it's post-COVID, uh, the door has been opened. We've started traveling now. And uh, we have uh, come very, we are actually getting busy. But of course, uh, while we are getting busy, we still want to remain online as much as we can. Uh, we are not going to be together uh, this week uh, because I've got a meeting in uh, central Zimbabwe. I have to travel down into the central to the Midlands. And then uh, next week, we've got a meeting in the capital. I will be coming back to the capital. But I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, we are in a very interesting time. Uh, recently, we did a recording which I quoted uh, Patrick's uh, Prophets and Kings, page 537, uh, paragraph 1. I just want to focus on the first sentence. says, the present time is a time of overwhelming interest to all living rulers and statesmen, men who occupy position of trust and authority, thinking men and women of all classes have their attention fixed upon the events taking place about us. My brothers and sisters, it's very important for us to realize that all these events, they are manipulated. All these events, are, they are being engineered. Uh, we are now in a man-made crisis. The economies of the world are falling. This is a man-made thing. We know that we are, uh, the world is actually experiencing soon we're going to be in serious poverty, especially in the northern African countries and also in the Middle East countries. This is all because of man-made, this crisis in Ukraine and so forth, and uh, the economy which is collapsing all over. These things should not come to us as a surprise, but there's one thing which we need to understand, my brothers and sisters. We're living in the final days. In these final days, the events are going to happen very quickly, very rapidly. And uh, soon, uh, by in, in the month of uh, July, we're going to focus on the final events uh, uh, depicted in the Bible. We're going to talk about the experience of shaking, uh, the letter rain, uh, the ceiling. Uh, and then we just, some of the subjects, we'll just be repeating them, but we'll magnify them, looking at where we are. But you know, my brothers and sisters, God has raised us for a purpose. And I want you to follow me as we start the, read the book of Esther, chapter 4, verse 14. The Bible says, For if thou altogether hold thy peace at this time, then shall the enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? My brothers and sisters, our being there today is very critical. Who knows, maybe God has preserved us for such a time as this that we may give a, the trumpet a certain sound. And I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, let's preach the gospel Let's live the gospel. Let's share the gospel. We have been called for such a time as this. Let's preach with whatever we have. Be it financially, let's preach. Be it uh, with our legs, let's preach. With our voices, let's preach. In whatever we are doing, my brothers and sisters, we are to declare the present truth of our time. And if we don't, let's remember what Jesus said in Luke chapter 19, verse 40, as he was entering Jerusalem. This is during the tri triumphal entry time. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these shall hold their peace, the stones will immediately cry out. If you don't do your duty, my brothers and sisters, somebody is going to do it. And when he, somebody does your duty, then you know that you have lost it. Therefore, let not the rocks cry out on my part. Let me cry out. Let me cry aloud. Let me show Israel their transgression. But above all, let me be prepared for the soon coming of the master. So once more, my brothers and sisters, thank you for being with us. Thank you for uh, supporting us in whatever form you are. May the Lord continue to bless you. May the Lord continue to strengthen you. And I will encourage you, please, let's work together as much as we can as the Spirit of the Lord allows us. Please share the message and also just hit that button and subscribe and also whenever you get the message please feel free to share with your loved ones this is how we can pre uh, we can uh, spread the present truth of our time i look forward to see you next week as the spirit of the lord leads shall we pray 
Thank you, Father, for the time that you have given us for this blessed day today as we worship you in many different places, wherever we will be. And also, Lord Jesus, we pray that your spirit may continue to strengthen us to focus on the mission that you have given us. Lead us, we beseech you, dear God, in Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you, my brothers and sisters. Looking forward to see you in the next edition uh, next week. Until then, continue to be blessed, continue to be strong in the Lord as we wait for his soon return in Jesus' name. Amen.